Ah, back at home. What a surprise, honestly. I've been walking around with 83 levels for quite a while. I'm just gonna use it on repairing all these tools. Trench shovel. You silk touch? Good. I really need a silk touch shovel for what we're about to do next. Please don't be 33. You are 33. I'm just good like that. It's good to have you back. Devil's toenail, you're next. I'm gonna guess you're 33. Wow, for some reason I thought I was gonna get like five repairs in. I repaired two things. Wonderful. Oh, I forgot we're gonna throw some trims on this. If you guys don't remember, I retrieved the ancient wolf armor from our Skyrim inspired dungeons down below. I don't know how I did that without dying. First try. But the gear is so overpowered. Oh, I still haven't done that roof. <laughs> the gear is so overpowered that I'm thinking about putting it back. But yes, welcome back to the Let's Play. This is Dallas here. Man, I haven't gathered dirt here in like a year. I'm looking for a flat spot to gather dirt because we are going to the end to make something. This looks like a good spot. And I specifically need grass. We're out in space here, next to our computer plant. <laughs> so my challenge is, is I'm going to make a th uh, three by two monitor. So instead of just having one map with artwork on it and another one with artwork on it, we're gonna have a two by three and it's gonna look like one giant screen. But why use grass again? That's boring, we gotta innovate. So <laughs> my next line of screens is gonna be over the black void, but with white text. And I think that'll look super modern. Well, how do we get white? Yes, I'm in my spacesuit. How would you expect me to breathe, silly? Well, I guess we gotta use snow again. Did I come prepared? Is there by any chance that I have Okay, no snow in there. I got a feeling I'm not gonna get so lucky. <gasps> snow! Oh! Oh, no way! Well, we got lucky. <laughs> oh, sweet. I didn't have to go all the way back home. Welcome. Alright, this is the part where I see you guys in, like, three hours. No! Look at this. This is a locked map. And it updated. I was going- ah, oh, dang it, this map is ruined. This was just the map of the normal square without the world in the center, and it was locked on that square, yet, look, an updating map. I don't understand why it's doing that, but that really sucks. Means I need to set this further away so I don't accidentally update something. But anyway, besides that, I was making this. No signal! <laughs> It looks very basic, but this took a long time. So I'm gonna have three more black screens right here, and yeah, it'll just be a giant monitor that doesn't have its HDMI plugged in. As you can see, it's not that small. It took a lot of snow. I will say that. Lots and lots of snow. Okay, I'm gonna move my platform away. I don't like it updating this stuff when it's not supposed to. I'll tell you what. I've been cutting my sugar intake a lot this year, but Nerd's gummy clusters are like the best candy ever made. They're my weakness when I see them on the shelf. Okay, so this is what I've been working on. It's a little interesting, to say the least. As you can see, we got some lines. Uh, it's supposed to be like an application that is up on a big screen. Huh. Do I like it? Kind of. I need to add more onto it. So as you can see, we have like some sort of Audio reading here, it says live reading, systems online. This is update 0.9.0. A little bit of a Easter egg throwback there. That's the update we started this world. But yeah, this took a lot of snow. It doesn't look like it, but it really did. And I need to add more. Hey buddy, you look depressed. Let me fix that for you. Oh. Your head will go here as a souvenir. Oh, it reminds me of Derpy. I have been just adding a their little bit on here, as you can see. I added a peak heart rate of 138, and then a heart rate meter and an energy meter because I decided these new screens are gonna go in my new training course. I don't think I'll start it today because this is gonna be pretty big, but we're gonna build a new training course within our new lab, in the building part, not in the underground section. I have a pretty unique idea and I'm kind of excited to start it. So that has me thinking as well. I wanna make another one of these. So I'm gonna lock this one, but before I do, since these are our own SSC computers and these are our own applications, kind of like Apple has their own, like MacBook, this is our style. This is what our application looks like, like a window. So up here in these bezels I have, I'm gonna do it up here, I think. I'm gonna do a plus and minus sign. Or no, not plus, an X and minus sign for exiting out of the application and minimizing it. 
But, hey, what are you doing here? I was just looking for some blocks. Um, there they are. No, I'm not making a new map. I'm not. I'm seriously not. I'm not. This, is, this isn't a map in my hand. That's nothing. I'm not obsessed with making maps. You're obsessed. I'm not obsessed. You're obsessed. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video of me making maps. Huh? Okay, I made a new map. Oh, look at it, though. I made a keyboard. So since I'm making a computer program based around, well, a portrayal of a computer program based around slime science, I'm going to make our own keyboard, and it's going to be square, similar to this. No, they're not always going to be placed flat down, although they could. It looks nice. Sadly, in Bedrock Edition, you can't put an item frame at a right angle right next to it like that, which sucks. Um, so in this universe, I will simply have this screen right here and our keyboard down here, but of course, one up so you can actually look like you work on it. Oh, but I love the way it turned out. I used orange because they just stick out a little bit more and I created shadow effects. I tried to make all the keys unique. Got arrow keys, space key, enter. This is like the language in my world. Not exactly, they're just random stuff. But yeah, I mainly used orange concrete powder and then actually dirt because it's so inexpensive creates that nice shadow. More map time. I've been working on my next big monitor here. <laughs> As you can see, that is the outline of my body. And this will go up in whatever training course I make. Basically, like it's tracking my physical exertion, I guess, through my legs, core, arms, and head. I'm also going to set up an area where I can have potions splashed on me, but they're going to be like mutagen altering things. Um, maybe I, I need to add some right here, and then I'll call it quits. <laughs> Finally. Maybe. Maybe. There we go. I added a little saved icon. I, I wish it was a little more to the left, but it's really hard to build in a 3D space this large and get everything perfect. <laughs> but I like this. It'll do. All right, I'm going to lock everything and we are getting the heck out of here. I've spent too much time here. Hey, Jude. You okay? I put Minesweeper and Jude in here because if I fall in the void on accident, I don't want to lose those. <laughs> I mean, everything else is nice, but I mean, it's the void. All right, here's our three screens we made. I'll see you later. Man, have you guys been seeing the new update stuff? So they just added something like a vault and that's what the key goes into. If you remember, they added a strange key to the game but they added a block called like a vault block and it's basically a block that gives you a reward for the end of the trial chambers i don't know a whole lot about this yet i haven't been looking into it but man the feedback is just so negative nowadays for minecraft like i'm actually excited for all of this this time i know it's going to be a smaller update but just i mean i play this game for a living and i appreciate anything that's added to the game of course, I'm going to have my criticisms too, but Jesus, I've never seen so much backlash at this game before. When I saw one of the devs talking about it, I just saw a bunch of people complaining that they've been waiting all this time, wanting to hear that the key is going to unlock something super cool, and it just unlocks a simple block that gives you some loot, which I can understand that. Minecraft is really good at hyping something up and then not delivering, I guess. I feel like they really need to do better in their marketing because uh, they, they're they really pushing stuff out that doesn't need to be shown yet until it's completely finished. I know they need the feedback from us, but it's like you're a multi-million, probably billion dollar business, even owned by Microsoft. I think you guys can come up with the ideas on your own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't know, there's just a weird thing going on right now between all the new features being added and getting our opinion on them. It's just weird. Okay, anyway, somehow, and so, oh gosh, I didn't realize, I forgot, this middle part is pretty tall. So, it'll have to be at this level at some point. My training course, I really want it to go inside the building here. I mean, this is a massive, massive building. Look at all this space. It's gonna have to go above this, though, because I don't want this interfering with it. But I didn't, I actually didn't want it to be this high. This is like fourth floor up here. Third or fourth. No, when I even, that could be like fifth floor, depending on how you look at it. It's like I'd really want to get the floors down here finished before I start working on that. I know I'm talking too much, but I really dread working on the layout. Oh, this is so difficult. Just this right here. I feel so bad for my world. Map, I'm like in map 600s now. It's just like, please, <laughs> we're making so many maps. But 
I want to have some maps in here, of course. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, those look so cool. I swear, the more we advance these, the just more unreal they're going to look. I know, that's a little off-centered. I tried to add an exclamation point. <laughs> I could have added two. Like, it's really trying to tell you you have no signal. So we're going to focus the entirety of today on making maps. I know. I know. <laughs> you probably don't like that a whole lot, but, uh... You know what? I'm okay with it, because I want a lot of maps for the builds that we're about to do. Because we're going to be using these screens and maps a lot with my future builds. It's just that I really want to get into that training course today, but I have to build the rest of the layout for that lab first. So, uh, in the meantime, let's make me some nice maps. And just like that, in the matter of seconds, we have a new map. <laughs> this is just a, you know, a small one. Eventually, whatever machine I'm going to make... Although I'm not really thinking this through too well, because I really love these white panels, but what are they all gonna go on, you know? I mean, they look all right next to each other because they look like panels that should go next to each other. It's, it's hard to explain. I don't, ew, I hate this one. I don't know why, every time I see that one, I hate it. Yeah, I can come up with something cool here in the future with whatever I'm making here. <laughs> they look cool. Burger Mad. Hey, I haven't checked up on you in a little bit. Where you at? Where you at? Hang on. Where you at? Good, you're still alive. <laughs> the more villagers I get out in this world, the harder it is to keep track of them. So, let's get out another one. I kind of forgot I wanted to get out at least one villager per episode, so... I don't know if you guys ever saw this right here, but I ended up connecting all of my power lines to this, like, I guess, power generator looking thing right here. I think it turned out kind of cool. Just used a heck of a lot of observers. Make, <laughs> makes me realize I sh probably should have built it out of something else, but I really like the way observers look. Got it all fenced in, too. I'm taking you to the slums, okay? I like having a lot of clerics in my world because I have so much rotten flesh to get rid of. I am so low on emeralds that I'm just going to go pack up a bunch of shulker boxes and visit all these guys to sell it and see how much emeralds I can get. Occupied, occupied. Occupied, occupied. That one doesn't have any layout in it yet. That one isn't occupied down there, but I'm gonna put you in this jail guard tower looking place. <laughs> ah, I forgot how cool this- see, it just takes- it's as simple as coming here that makes me want to work on it more. The slums are just kind of a cool little area. I can hear the sniffer. There is a staircase in this place, so please, don't kill yourself. Alright, putting somewhat of a new donator in here, Ryan McCoy. Thank you very much. Ow. First place I thought of is this dang place. Oh, all these chests. And I have no room here. Absolutely no room. And it starts here. Okay, here's the first one. This is only gonna fill up one choker box. Oh my gosh. But I knew hanging on to all of this stuff would come in handy one day. Okay, only cleared out two. Thousands to go. <laughs> While I try to make as much emeralds as possible, I'll answer today's comment question of the day. From Dat Squad one have you ever played any sports, and what other hobbies do you have besides Minecraft? Absolutely, I used to play a lot of sports in grade school, well, <laughs> I guess that, that doesn't really count, I guess. In high school, I just got so focused into skateboarding that I ignored joining any leagues. But I played a lot of basketball in high school, but not for the team. And I, it was one of my regrets. Like, I played a lot of basketball in grade school, a lot of baseball. I was track, cross country, pretty much everything you could do. And I really got into basketball as I got into high school, but I was so nervous to, like, go to tryouts. I skipped freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And by my time I was a senior, I was like, I gained a little bit of confidence. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm really good at basketball and I knew I was pretty good. I played at the park like every day. And I told myself I'm gonna go. I gained up the confidence. I went to the tryouts in my senior year. I sat down, I was watching everyone play. I didn't even know how tryouts worked. I just saw a bunch of people there. A lot of people I went to high school with. They knew I played pretty good because during PE and stuff, we all played together. I've had people tell me, you should go try out sometime. And I did, and I remember, the coach walked up to me, Coach Gamber, and he asked, are you trying out? And I said, yeah, and he's like, do you got your physical? 
and at that time, I was, <laughs> I remember exactly, I'm like, wait, what, what's a physical? <laughs> and right there, I knew, right then and there, I wasn't going to do it. I completely forgot that you had to get a freaking physical to try out. And that is just going to the doctor. And I was as healthy as a horse. But you have to have that physical. And that literally shot down my dream to play my senior year in high school. But I still play basketball pretty regularly. I have a basketball court right outside my door at my apartment complex, which is really cool. We just got new goals in, but I play a lot there. I'm getting back into skateboarding and stuff. I don't do tricks anymore. I mainly just ride at parks and all that. But other hobbies, I, I'm a big motorcycle rider. I love my motorcycle. I'm getting really into photography. My girlfriend actually got me a Polaroid and I've always wanted a Polaroid, so I'm excited to use that. I'm a big gym goer. I go to the gym every day. I can't remember if I put a cleric in the hospital, but I have lots of little hobbies, I guess you can say. How you doing, Isaac? That didn't sound too good, but um, yeah, that's the gist of it. Oh no, oh yeah, you are a cleric, sweet. I got 48 emeralds, not too bad. Crappy thing is though, I'm not around here a whole lot, so he will not be loaded and this won't refresh as fast, which I hate in Minecraft, by the way. I wish they would fix that, I wish his trades would update as I'm off doing my thing out in the world, but you have to have him loaded <laughs> next to you to update, which is like 2010 game design if you ask me. Well everyone, that's gonna be about it for today. I'm gonna thank some donors while I check in on some of my businesses here. How is the bean co doing? How do you harvest this? Why did I forget? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> I want to thank Benjamin Clifton with another dono. That is very sweet of you. Thank you, Benjamin. And Trace Wiggins. That seems like a new face. Thank you, Trace. That is very kind of you as well. And Johannes Rossendorfer. Wow. Is that German? Maybe I'm close. I hope so. Thank you anyway. I appreciate that. And Megan Ahmed. No, that wouldn't be Ahmed. That'd just be Ahmed, right? I'm really bad at names, I guess. I thought I used to be good at names. Megan Ahmed, thank you. I'm assuming that's how you say it. I appreciate it. Clinton Hulse, thank you for your dono too. And Ryan Browning. Ryan freaking Browning. Man, he made millions of emeralds off of that nuclear power plant. I'm proud of him. Thank you, Ryan. That is just, I don't know what else to say. You're just an insane person in a good way. Ryan, where are you at? Oh, you're in that room I was just in in my lab. Oh yeah, I'm still gonna make you an office soon. Actually, we have to make, where am I going? This way. We have to make a power section of the lab, which is gonna be pretty fun with all of our new maps and everything. I want it to look pretty darn cool, but we gotta figure out what kind of power source we're gonna use. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Remember our last lab, we used lava, like we're pumping it out of maybe a lava tube we found close to the surface of the crust of the earth. <laughs> so maybe we can like do beacons of some sort? I don't know. We'll see. But thank you everyone for watching, and thank you all for those very kind donos. It never goes unappreciated. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.